Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Hearthstone. In this episode, I'm going to keep playing and uh, see if I can make it to rank 20, because I didn't actually mention that in the last episode. I'm going to try to make it to rank 20 so that I can get this season's special card back thing. Um, basically that thing that changes the way your cards look on the back, <laughs> which is pretty self-explanatory. Although, again, for some reason, whenever I saw it say that you can get the special card back, I always thought it meant card pack. Uh, which I thought would have been slightly better, but, you know, card back is something that I really enjoy because it's some kind of aesthetic change that... <coughs> some kind of aesthetic change that uh, shows people how good you are, even though it's not really that great of an of a indicator of how good you are. But anyways, uh, let's move on to this match. Ooh, uh, Iron Bark Protector. Again, a card I really enjoy, and I'd really like to get an Innovate for. Um, so I'm going to keep it, and getting Wild Growth early on is really helpful because then you can get start casting uh, better cards early on, like I kind of said already, but um, let's see, what am I going to do? Uh, definitely Shield Bearer out first, because uh, that's pretty helpful. Now with a Hunter, there's a card that the Hunter has that does three damage to two random minions, but you need to have two minions, or your enemy has to have two minions before you can use that card. So I'm going to try to only have one minion out at once, as long as I can help it, because uh, I don't want to give him an opportunity to use that card, even though I don't actually know when he has that card, uh, or if he has that card. It's a sort of an assumption that he probably has that card. Um, so let's see. Now, I kind of want to use Wild Growth on my first turn with the coin, uh, but I don't think that'll be the best decision, because I think I should probably use my Shield Bearer first. And if I have an Innervate, I'd rather use my Innervate and the Mana Crystal coin um, to use my Iron Bark Protector on round 5, uh, or possibly even round 4, depending on when I use my Wild Growth, because that would be amazing if I could do that. But, because uh, I just really love pulling out big cards on early, early turns. That's just one of my favorite things to do. Um, so, anyways, let's see what my opponent does. He does nothing. I agree. So, I'm going to use my Shield Bearer and end my turn. Two mana, I'll use my uh, Wild Growth, then I'll have four mana, so I'll use my Mogshan Warden. Well, actually, that kind of goes against what I was already saying, uh, but these two do have quite a bit of health, so I think I will risk it. Uh, bringing out my Mogshan Warden with five. Uh, with five mana crystals, then I'll use my Iron for Grizzly and combo it with my Shapeshift. And then at six, uh, if I have uh, an Innervate, which I do not, um, then I'll just uh, deal with that. So, now I've got three mana crystals. I'm going to go on to 4, Mogshan Warden, like I said, with 5, I'll use my 3-2. Then with 6, uh, I could use my coin to summon a War Golem, depending on what other cards I have by then. Um, I always like to plan out my turns early on, so that when the turn actually comes, I'll already know what I'm doing. Uh, i just got to remember that he could do stuff that changes what my plan should be, so that's always something to worry about. But, um, actually, I didn't even realize, I wasn't even paying attention that he used a Steady Shot. Uh, he, yeah, I really didn't even pay attention to that. I was just so concerned with what my turn was going to be doing. Um, oh, look, an Iron for a Grizzly. That's nice. But, um, let's see, that kind of makes me want to use my Iron for a Grizzly, which I actually will. Um, because now I can also throw out my Torbshire Footman um, as an additional taunting card. Uh, he'll probably use his Iron for a Grizzly to attack my 0 4 Shield Bearer, because then he won't be taking any damage and he'll be doing damage from my cards. Uh, and then in the next turn, I'll be using my um, my Iron for Grizzly. Oh man, <laughs> it's going to be increasing his attack power. Uh, that's bad for me. Uh, let's see. Mm. I guess I'll use. Uh, this one, uh, then I'll use my coin to give myself one armor, but that uh, probably wasn't a good idea, because I, I didn't want to attack with it, I just wanted to get my armor up, um, because having armor is nice, I suppose, but uh, now his iron for, ah, excuse me, um, his iron for grizzly only has one health, which means my Gurubashi Warden, uh, or not Gurubashi, Mogushan uh, Warden, um, can take care of that. Oh, dang. Now it's Timberwolf who's going to make sure that his uh, Grizzly can kill my Warden. Wow, that's really good for him. Um, so then he's going to get rid of the Shield Bearer uh, with no trouble. Uh, let's see. He's got quite a bit of attack power on his side already. Uh, let's see. That's 5 health and 4 health, 3 attack. Well, alright, so let's see. Um, he only got 1 health, 2 health, and 3 health. So I only need my uh, Taunting card with 3 health out because then he will probably attack it with his Houndmaster. Um, although I'm actually going to do that, 
because now that second armor that I had from the last time I used my armor uh, protected me from the attack on that uh, against the Timberwolf. So now uh, his Raid Leader is still increasing his Houndmaster's attack. Uh, so he could kill my, uh, my uh, Senjin Shieldmaster um, with that card, but then that'll cancel each other out and uh, I'll, be, I'll be left with, or he'll be left with these, um, this 7 attack power on his side. Uh, not a big deal, I suppose, because then on this turn, ooh, that's really nice, but not going to be able to use that this turn. So, that to give myself some more armor, and now the reason I'm doing, I'm doing this is because now uh, none of his cards can kill me in one hit, uh, and with five attack power, I can kill any of his minions with one hit. So if any of his minions try to attack me, then I'll be able to kill it and I'll survive, at least the first time. Uh, unless he obviously does something else to increase his attack power or something, like he is another Hound Master on this one or something. But I really hope he doesn't do that, because that'd be really lame. <laughs> but, uh, let's see, what am I going to do? Um, depending on what he does in this next turn, I'll probably be summoning my Iron Bark Protector, because that'll be a really strong, uh, a really strong taunting minion. Although he could, oh man. Alright, so he's going to use Arcane Shot to, oh wow, do four damage, because of the two, um, two extra spell damages. Uh, which is pretty good on his part. Uh, so he's probably gonna win this because he's doing pretty good. Uh, and I say he just because it's a hunter. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. Um, so I'm not gonna use my Innervate to use uh, Shapeshift just because um, using that two extra mana crystals just to get um, just get plus one attack, plus one armor, and then lose the attack on that next turn because I'm not gonna attack any of these minions uh, wouldn't be that great. And he's probably got Hunter's Mark. Or I think that's what it's called. Uh, that lowers my health to one. Uh, or lowers my minions health to one, uh, or not, I suppose. Um, just summoning that. So he's got a lot of attack power. He could kill me. Um, he could kill me with his minions, but that would get rid of a couple of his minions, because I do have... Oh, dang! Five damage! <laughs> That's insane! <laughs> How powerful that is. Uh, just because of all his uh, spell damage power thingies. Dang! That is really powerful. Uh... I would need a Mark of the Wild. I really need a Mark of the Wild right now. Uh, and nope, I do not get a Mark of the Wild. Uh, lame. Alright, so... Uh, I'm just gonna use all my cards that I can. Uh, just because... Uh, just because that's it. Um, well played, I, I can't survive. If I had a Mark of the Wild, then I could have used it on my Golem to make it a 9-9 a, a taunting minion, which would be pretty awesome, but I'm sure he'll, he, would be, he would have been able to kill it and then destroy me on the next turn, so that's fine. Uh, it's a good game, I suppose. I didn't really do any damage to him at all, I don't think, but um, I don't know. That's fine. Uh, so yeah, it's almost 10 minutes, I suppose. But, um, let's see. And I can't lose stars at this rank, so that's fine. That's what I'll... <sighs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm okay with that game. Uh, I felt like I did some decent plays. I didn't make... I didn't necessarily make mistakes. I just did whatever I could. Um, at least as far as I know. I probably did make mistakes. But, um, anyways, let's look at these cards. Uh, I like that distribution a little bit, because uh, it's just even for 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 cards each, and then the 5, 6, and 7 is 2, 4, 6, which I think is kind of funny, but, uh, anyways, so, let's see, uh, crafting mode, let's see what kind of cards they have, naturalize, destroy a minion, your opponent draws two cards, don't really care too much about that, because I don't really care too much about destroying minions and drawing two cards, although that actually is pretty good, that's something that I do probably need. But, uh, Savagery, deal damage, equal to your heroes, attack to a minion, not very useful, because I don't really use that much stuff to increase my own attack. Power of the Wild, give your minions plus one one, or summon a three two panther, that can be really useful if I have, if I have a lot of minions. Um, Wrath, deal three damage to a minion, or one damage and draw a card, also pretty good. Uh, Mark of Nature, choose one, give a minion plus four attack, or plus four health and taunt. Uh, that is also pretty good, because that's basically a Mark of the Wild, but better. Uh, well, kind of. Um, and then Bite, give your hero plus four attack this turn and plus four armor. That is really good in conjunction with Savagery, uh, especially if you have two of them, uh, two of each, because uh, that would be pretty awesome. That'd be dealing 16 damage to a minion, but of course that's pretty circumstantial for whether or not I would need that. And if I'm going to be doing 16 damage, I'd rather just use Naturalize for one mana rather than 
10 mana for the others. But uh, anyway, Soul of the Forest, give your minions Death Rattle, Summon a 2 2 Trent, or Trent, or however you want to pronounce that. That can be pretty useful in certain circumstances, but it's not very reliable. Uh, keep with Grove, choose one, deal two damage, or silence a minion. That can be really useful depending on what the situation is, um, especially only for four mana. Uh, Nourish, choose one, uh, gain two mana crystals, or draw three cards. That is a really good card, and I can only make one of them, uh, which is kind of lame. Uh, but I'll think about that later. Uh, choose one, deal five damage to a minion, or deal two damage to all minions. Also pretty good. Um, but again, that costs 100, and I only have enough of one. Uh, Druid the Claw, choose one, charge, or plus two health and taunt. Pretty good. But again, you know. Uh, so, Force of Nature, summon three 2-2 two, two tree onto the charge that die at the end of the turn. That can actually be pretty cool if you use that in combination with Soul of the Forest, because then you'd be summoning uh, three 2-2 two, two Treants, or Trents, I don't know how to pronounce that correctly, um, and then use Death Battle to make them summon themselves again, except they don't die at the end of the turn. Uh, however, that does cost uh, 10 mana, so that would be your entire turn. Anyways, uh, Ancient of Lore, choose one, draw two cards, and restore five health. That's pretty cool, because of the drawing two cards to help you get more cards and then uh, restore five health. It's pretty useful. Ancient of War, that's one of my favorites. Uh, choose one, five attack, or, or plus five health and taunt, um, as a battle cry. Um, that'd be pretty cool, because then you can make a 10-5 card, and then use a, uh, a Mark of the Wild to increase it to a 12-7 taunt, which would be pretty cool. Um, obviously only having 7 health isn't super amazing, but it'd be pretty awesome. Or you could have it, um, if you don't, if you, for some reason you need a taunt, I suppose, um, you could make it a plus 5 health and taunt, so that it's a 5-10, and then add Mark of the Wild to give it a 7-12, seven, tw seven, uh, taunting card, which is also pretty good. And then Scenarius, um, choose one, give your, give your other minions plus 2-2, two, two, or summon 2-2-2 two, 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 Trents with taunt. Uh, I would rather have, or what would be really cool, even though it's really unlikely, uh, is if you have Force of Nature, uh, summon three, two, two Trents, uh, then use the other one for the ten mana cost, um, so that you can summon, or keep those three, uh, two, two Trents, and then give your other minions plus two, so that you'll have, um, three, four, four Trents, so that'll be twelve attack and health total that you can use, plus, uh, Scenarius is 5-8, which would be pretty cool, but obviously that's very circumstantial, and a lot of arcane dust are gonna be using that. Uh, so yeah, I was just looking at these, uh, showing what other cards there were potentially that I could use. Uh, and then of course there's some other cards here that are pretty helpful. Um, so yeah. I, I just, I don't know why I was talking about that, it was just for fun, I suppose. But, um, anyways, now it's about 12 minutes, uh, so that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.